in with the new and out with the old. That might be a little harsh, but as we celebrated the arrival of our new police chief, we also celebrated the retirement of a fire captain. Some careers, you know, 30, 40 years seems, you know, relatively short. In, in the firefighting world, actually, uh, because of the wear and tear of the job, getting through 30 years is uh, a big, big achievement. Uh, we get a lot of injuries from the medical calls, particularly. Uh, a lot of people think that the firefighting side is the most dangerous, but actually we hurt more firefighters uh, with long-term serious injuries from the medical side, uh, lifting patients in very bad positions that we just can't get them in a better position until somebody gets down there and lifts them and shifts them so uh, that that has a lot of wear and tear. Tim is uh, going out he had double knee replacement and uh, he's just no longer able to keep doing the job. He'd love to do some more but it's just not going to happen. Tim's got the heart of a firefighter he doesn't want to quit he loves his public service he loves the uh, the job we're doing and uh, you know it, it's just not something that you can get out of your blood. It, it'll, he'll be a firefighter till the day we lose him on this earth. It, it's in his nature to be that way. And he would love to have stayed longer if his body would have allowed him to, but he just has too many serious injuries now that, that have added up. Tim's retirement passes on a dubious distinction to Fire and Emergency Services Director Grant Baines. Grant is now the oldest person in the department. But seriously, on behalf of the city of Richland and its residents, I want to wish Captain Tim Sharp a happy retirement and say a big thank you for your 30 plus years of service to this city and its residents. You will be missed.